If you ever plan on doing dual deploy or a two-stage high power rocket, your rocket will need a flight computer. There's a lot of great computers out there, but the only downside is their price. This is generally due to all the small and specialty components. Now keep in mind, I'm not shaming these flight computers. These are all great computers. So I set out to make my own. Not because of the price, but because I pretty much just wanted to. And honestly, it's uh, kind of kind of just as expensive. The goal of Ultimate was to make a flight computer that had equipment for data logging, pyro channels, Bluetooth, radio, and servo functions. After four versions, it all works. Here's a comparison of V1 to V4. Yeah, V4 probably doesn't deserve to have the same name as V1. It's like, as you can tell, like drastically different, but I couldn't come up with a better name, so. Ultimate has about 33 components, 14 surface mount and 18 through hole. The PCB is a 1.6 millimeter and FR4 based. I designed and then ordered them ordered the PCBs from JLC PCB. <clears throat> the PCB has two power regulators. One is a LM2596SX-5 volt buck converter and the other is an AMS1117 3.3 volt. Next it's time to assemble the whole board. Ultimate has 16 pins. This side is generally focused on pyro, pyro channels and power, and this side is focused on communication. Over here we have two pyro channels and pyro disconnect. Pyro disconnect physically severs the connection between the positive terminal on the pyro channels. So if these aren't if the if pyro disconnect isn't bridged, the pyro channels cannot fire. Over here we have 3.3 volts. 5 volts ground and 3.3 volts from the teensy, then VIN, ground, and the switch terminals. Over here on this side, we have UTAR communication, on slash off, and an unconnected pin. Over here, we have V battery from the teensy, program, and CAN bus to communicate with another flight computer or another teensy. Then over here, we have SPI communication, and then some pins output pins from the Bluetooth module. Taking a look at the layout for the through-hole components, we have the Teensy 4.0, the Bluetooth module, and then moving on to the back, the SD card module, the BNO055, the BMP3090, and then the socket for the ADXL375 accelerometer, and a backup SD card that's a solid state. The reason these two are not necessary is because this, 
the BNO055, has almost all of the things the flight computer needs except the barometer. So these two chips are optional. Ultimate can be powered via battery through the VIN and ground pins. Whenever, normally, whenever you plug in the battery, the flight computer will automatically power on. But over here, we have two optional pins, switch pins. They are activated by bridging, I mean unbridging, a little pad that we can see right here. By unbridging this, it severs the connection between VIN, and only when we re-sever the connection via a button will it power on. Ultimate is still under heavy development on the hardware side. At the moment, to connect to the Bluetooth, you have to use an app provided by the manufacturer. Soon I hope to make my own app to connect. Ultimate also has a connector for an external XB radio module, so I hope to make an app to connect to that too. Anyways, thank you for watching.